Even famous people are prone to the detoxing effects of a vegan diet. Juice World has passed away at the age of 21 after experiencing a medical emergency, reportedly a seizure, in Chicago's Midway Airport, TMZ reports. Chicago police confirmed to WGN that the rapper, whose real name is Jared Anthony Higgins, suffered a medical emergency not long after exiting a private jet at the airport and emergency crews responded around 3.30 a.m. Juice World is a known vegan, even convincing a fellow rapper to go vegan himself. What's up, guys? So I'm not gonna address any of the bullshit that's going on. I'm having fun. I'm on my positive shit. I don't even wanna beef for nobody. I've been doing so good. There was actually a vegan model that died earlier this year in the exact same way. Passed out on the runway, seizure, convulsions, but they blamed it on drugs and they'll probably blame this on drugs too. But do you really think a rich, famous music star would risk swallowing pills to not get caught by airport security? That was the alleged story. He had Percocets on him and feds, FBI were waiting for him at the airport. Or do you think he'd pay some lawyer a boatload of money to fight the case? Let's think a little bit here. Juice World even tweeted earlier this year that he was done with drugs. A famous music artist is very intelligent, or they have to surround themselves with intelligent people, otherwise they wouldn't be where they are. They have ample resources and would not put themselves in that situation. But the media doesn't want you to know that. They want you to think it's some low IQ moron that got lucky making music and took too many drugs. My speculation on the actual diagnosis is pernicious anemia, where the body can't absorb enough vitamin B12. Approximately 200,000 cases of this occur in the United States every year. You can take all the B12 supplements you want, but that does not mean your body is absorbing them. Here we have an anecdotal story of a young man being diagnosed with epilepsy after starting a vegan diet. Not only are there dozens of studies correlating vitamin B12 deficiency to seizures, there are also dozens of studies correlating iron deficiency anemia to seizures. All of these vegans saying that non-heme iron is adequate on a vegan diet, yeah, then why are the majority of vegans anemic? You know what's so crazy about this? Vitamin B12 is dismissed by vegans so quickly. Oh. Just take your vitamin B12 shot. But B12 deficiency can lead to premature death. How do you think a vegan diet would go if they went up to people and were like, oh yeah, this diet is so great, uh, but oh, you better take this B12 shot, otherwise you'll fall down and die choking on your own spit. The best indicator of vitamin B12 deficiency or just B vitamin deficiency in general is homocysteine as your body needs B vitamins to clear homocysteine out of your blood. When homocysteine is in excess, it causes oxidative stress. Now the body doesn't absorb vitamin B12 on its own because it needs other nutrients. In just homocysteine metabolism, you need vitamin B6, folate, not to mention molecules from other pathways. ATP, for instance, requires the citric acid cycle, which needs many amino acids only found in animal foods. But vegans don't tell you this because they don't have a gigantic ass brain like I do. The point is, despite supplementing B vitamins, claiming their vegan diet is adequate, they still have a far higher homocysteine level than vegetarians and especially higher than omnivores. If you guys want to learn more about these mechanisms, I did one video, why a vegan diet will give you a stroke. I did another video on Cam Newton explaining the citric acid cycle, the Krebs cycle, how vegans aren't getting enough amino acids. There's a lot to be understood about nutrition. And let me tell you guys something. If some, you know, 28 year old ex personal trainer bartender knows more than everyone else, I find that highly unlikely. There's far too much special interest funding, agendas being pushed, and poor young men like this, you know, are no longer with us. And, uh, and guys, I say this, you know, fairly often in my videos, this type of stuff is the reason I do what I do every day. You know, I have sad, unhealthy, sick people reaching out to me every day that I help for free. I have people on the street that I see every day and just seeing their state of health motivates me the same. And to see a young man like this 
who got so lucky, is so successful, in such a fortunate position, to die in such an unintelligent way, is, I don't, there's no word for it. There, there's really no word for it. Uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you could please like the video, uh, subscribe if you haven't, definitely hit that bell icon. If you guys do want to support me further and join me in providing high quality nutrient dense atom foods to everyone and making it affordable, you can check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. You can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. If you'd like to reach out to me for a personal consultation, uh, frank at frank-stefano.com. You can also go to my website below and schedule one. I do anything ranging from you know improving a standard American diet by incorporating quality animal foods to fixing dairy allergies, uh, whatever it may be, Frankie Boy's got you.